Hey guys, so uh, my face is all moisturized and ready to go. I'm wondering if I should put a primer on because I do have combination skin, mostly just in the T-zone, yeah. like most yeah. people, and I'm sorry if you hear yeah. yelling out there. So, my fiance uh, playing PlayStation with my brother. He's being super loud. So should I prime? I might just prime my nose because that's really the only spot that I get like crazy shiny. I've also tried a new product in the last few days which has been really really nice and glowy but again if you are oily, combination oily, you might not love this but this is the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur this year and it is the skin tone optimizer and it's in the shade cafe creme I'll just show you what it looks like quickly and my hands are so dry so I apologize but that's what it looks like it's really nice um, obviously I watch a lot of Alexa Blake and she goes on about how much she loves this so I wanted to give it a try um, if you live in Canada, I just got it from the Bay. I know you can order from their site directly, but yeah. Um, okay, so today I'm going to try Charlotte Tilbury's Beautiful Skin Foundation. This is what it looks like. I'm sure you've heard a billion different uh, things about this already because, okay, listen, I ordered from Space NK because they were the first one to have this. Never even heard of this site before, so I was a little worried, but... A lot of beauty influencers were posting it and it took so long to get here it came from the UK so by the time I got it it had already been released at Sephora on Charlotte's website and Charlotte is like known to have ridiculously fast shipping like amazing so I would have gotten it way sooner had I just ordered off of her site or went into my Sephora and gotten it but right now I'm not really going into Sephora because Shit is out of control in my city, and basically everyone has Omicron, so that's fun. Um, yeah, so anyways, I got the shade number two. I was a little worried. I did try it. I just tried it on my hand in the car, and I was like, okay, this looks orange. So hopefully, I tried it last night on my face, and it actually looked lighter than what I expected. Right now, it's kind of showing pretty yellow but I do have a lot of like golden -y kind of undertones to my skin even though I am very fair so we'll see what happens so basically I'll go quickly throughout the claims here undetectable coverage improves the look of skin with each wear clinically proven results boost hydration up to 166 percent so random Skin looks plumper and smoother by up to 181%. Skin tone looks more even by up to 210%. Over 90% of users agree. Minimizes the appearance of pores, reduces the appearance of pigmentation and dark spots, and the skin appears instantly brighter. I don't know how accurate all of those things are. I mean, I think it's nice to see that on a package, but I kind of also think that it might just be marketing, but whatever. Um... Hydrating with hyaluronic acid, um, it brightens because it has rose complex, the skin looks more beautiful instantly and over time. So it does have skincare ingredients, like I just said. So it is supposed to help your skin over time and gives you a healthy looking glow and brighter, smoother looking complexion. I am a little afraid of glow because, like I said, I am combination skin, but... We'll see what happens. I mean, I do know how I feel about it. I haven't worn it for a full day, so. This is what it looks like on my skin. So you can see it is, it does, this is neutral, 2N, to neutral. And it does definitely pull more golden. So this is it blended in. Like I tried it last night in my room and it was dark outside already so it might look a little darker today so you can see I will quickly compare it to the it cosmetic CC cream this is all I really have to compare it to I don't have the Estee Lauder uh, futurist I think it's called 
that everyone's comparing it to. And this is the color of the fair. I do prefer this color, but it's fine. Texture is very similar. If cosmetics might feel a little bit thicker, but not much. So let's just get on with it and put it on our face, huh? So I'm going to use a full pump, which is this much. I don't know if I should use a brush or if I should use a sponge. I have both kind of here and ready to go. I'll use a brush. I always use a sponge. I might use a brush and then go over it with a sponge just to kind of perfect it. But here we go. I'm going to have a mirror right behind you. So that's what the color is looking like. So you can see I do have a little pinkiness in my skin. But that's more so just in my cheeks. And I'm just using the Rare Beauty blush. Brush. Blush. Actually, I do have a blush by Rare Beauty as well. It's the new spring collection. That's how it's looking so far. I haven't done really right here yet. I'm just going to grab a mirror here so I can actually see what I'm doing. Every time I do this, I end up putting the mirror in front of the camera and then I watch it back and I'm like, are you kidding me? It's literally covering my face the entire time. I'm seeing more coverage down here than I am up here, which is kind of weird. Maybe I just need a little bit more. But what I've heard from most people is that it looks best. I don't know. I've actually heard mixed things. I've heard it looks best with a brush, and then I've heard it looks better with a sponge. And some people just like to go right in with their hands. I'm still working off of the one pump. so loud. So do you have my blinds open? So I'm trying to give you some natural light so you can really see the tone. Like, am I the slowest? Yeah, so I'm seeing a little more coverage on this side. I'm going to put a tiny bit more in that area, but I'll get to my forehead first and then go back. So how was everyone's Christmas? Ours was interesting. Um, so... I mean, it was good. It was good we were able to be with our families last year. We had a virtual Christmas. So I'm just doing like literally not even half a pump. So that's what it's looking like right now. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit more on the forehead. Right there. Um, yeah, so it was okay. I ended up finding out someone at my work had COVID and then I was nervous because I didn't want to get together with everybody because, you know, my grandma and my parents and everything, I didn't want to get together with them and then get anybody sick. So I went and got rapid tested at the grocery store. And it was good, so I was like, okay, great. But I was kind of feeling like I had... What is going on here? Can you see this? 
It's like there's no coverage there. I'm gonna use a sponge. I don't know what's happening. It just looks like it's not covering that one spot. Anyway, so yeah, I ended up feeling like I was having kind of allergies or something. I don't know. So I got tested and it was negative. So I was like, okay, we're good to go. And then my fiance's family was like, oh, where did Rachel go get tested? And I was kind of like, why are they asking? Should have known. And then uh, his mom, I guess, ended up getting some rapid tests because her and his sister both had like stuffy noses or runny noses, I guess. And I'm like, okay, well, like, whatever, that's not a big deal. And they got tested, and they were both negative, so they're like, okay, we're good. So, we didn't know that that was even happening until we got there Christmas Day. So we spent Christmas Eve with my family, just my parents and my brother flew in from BC. And that was all good. But we didn't get together with, like, my aunties and uncles and my cousin because we were kind of like... Okay, everyone's been kind of in contact with somebody they know who's had it. My cousin works in retail, so he had people from his work that were getting it left and right. So we're like, okay, just to be safe, like, let's make it smaller and we'll just get together with just, like, immediate family. And my sister-in-law couldn't come, so that sucks, but sorry, this is what it's looking like now. I did kind of fix my cheek and any areas that were looking like they were missing foundation. So as you can see, it does have a tiny bit of a yellowy tinge to it. My head is looking a little, forehead's looking a little greasy. Not gonna lie, but again, it does have a radiance to it, so that's kind of pretty normal. So anyway, Christmas Day rolls around, we go to my fiance's family, well, my family's place. And they're like, oh, so, you know, we had runny noses, but we're feeling good. And we took a rabbit test and they were negative. So I was like, okay, you know, trusting that the rabbit tests are doing their jobs. And I'm just putting a little bit of MAC paint pot on my eyelids because I'm going to be doing my eyes as well. And so they tested negative. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I mean, I don't really want to be around somebody who, like, even has a cold, right? Because obviously I still don't want to get sick. I had just gotten over a bad cold uh, in November. And my fiancé had it too, but we both got tested, PCR tested, and they were negative. So we're like, okay, fine. So anyway, could kind of hear his sister coughing a tiny bit. Sorry, I just had to pause you for a second. So anyway, so noticed there was like a little bit of a cough there, but I didn't say anything because whatever, they did their due diligence. Um, so then the next day, him and I were kind of feeling like we had a little bit of a cold. Again, I'm like, is this allergies? I already just got tested. Like, what is happening? But we stayed at my parents' place. I'm going to put a little bit of my Fenty eye brightener on. So it's called Bright Fix Eye Brightener. And I don't know what to mix it with. I just got this. The color is uh, literally white. I thought it was darker than this. Shade 11. This is Ultra HD Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer. I wore it yesterday and I did not like it. So I don't know if I want to do that to myself again. I have the Kosas. I have a sample didn't like that one porcelain cool was the shade and then I have rare beauty here I wonder if I should try this one this is the shade 160 cool 160 C mm. I just hate when my under eyes look bad it makes me feel like my whole makeup looks look, looks like shit 
which one should I do, guys? I don't know. I might try this one again. I'm going to give it one more shot, and if it looks bad, she going back. Remember I said I hate returning stuff? Well, I've been, like, queen of returning lately. Only because I spend a lot of money on this crap, and if it doesn't work, I'm not going to waste my money. Anyway, long story short, we were kind of feeling like a little shitty, tired, like I just had a little, it was weird, I had like a tickle in my throat, and it was just annoying, 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 and then I would, like I would have to cough to make this tickle go away. I was having tea at my parents' place, and then my brother was kind of like, oh my throat feels so dry, and I was like, okay, now I'm getting a little bit nervous, and then... Uh, he started not feeling great Like we didn't feel bad. We felt like we were still like hanging out. We were eating like it wasn't terrible But we just didn't feel good, you know Okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go with this one um, So then we find out uh, His sister tested herself. I think two more times with a rapid test negative negative so we're like okay well whatever and then sorry and then um i guess her work was like okay well if you're still feeling sick we think you should go get a pcr test and things got weird here where they were like denying people pcr tests and it's like okay hey, like these rapid tests aren't always accurate. Like, they're they're pretty good, but, I mean, they're not 100%. I mean, nothing's really 100%. But, anyway, so she ended up going for a PCR test, tested positive. So I'm like, oh, crap. So I'm just adding the Bright Fix to it. My Bright Fix is a little bit darker. I think it got the color Seashell. And so it's kind of like just neutralizing this makeup forever. I know this looks like a crap ton, but I need it. Okay, so she was positive. Then my fiance's grandpa started feeling like crap. And I was like, no, not grandpa. And then his grandpa's wife. Then his dad got a cough and I was like, okay, listen, like, you need to go get tested because I ended up buying rapid tests. I paid like $90 for two or 80 bucks or something and tested myself twice. Negative, negative. I'm like, okay, well, I don't know. So that was two times I tested. Then I guess his grandpa tested himself on a PCR, or not a PCR, on a rapid test, he immediately was positive. I'm like, well, okay, I guess they do work. And, yeah, so he was immediately positive. His wife got really sick. I think they had bad coughs. We didn't really have the coughs. It was more like just scratchy throat, annoying. So then I told my fiance, you need to go get tested because he is a teacher and he has like a fast pass kind of thing where they get in, they get in and they get the results like within 24 hours and people were waiting like days to get the results here, like five days, like it was insane. Yeah, I don't like this, like look at it. Oh, now I'm just annoyed. <sighs> anyway, so he went and got tested. He was like not really feeling that bad. So he's like, I kind of think this is a waste, but whatever. Even the girl testing him kind of made him feel stupid for going. She was like, oh, so like you don't really feel that bad. So like you're just doing this to be safe or whatever and he's like yeah comes back positive so then I'm kind of freaking out because 
we were with my parents for so long. You know, we went straight from there to my parents' place and we were kind of like hopping back and forth and I'm like, oh no, I don't want them to get sick. So we told them. They don't really go out because, you know, rightly so. My dad is pretty paranoid. Oh my god, it's my brush. It's not having a good makeup day already. Okay. So, they were fine. I mean, if they had it, they didn't show any symptoms. I tried to go get a PCR test. I took like seven rapid tests and it was negative, stayed negative the whole time. So, yeah, that was that. And he is like, he actually got symptoms after he tested positive. He was like sneezing a ton and just like runny nose and a little bit of a cough, but not terrible. Like it was manageable. And we both got boosted a week before Christmas. Oh my god. Where is this brush? Hang on. But the stupid thing is, is that I felt way worse than him. I was getting these like really bad headaches. Which is not really that unusual for me but these headaches that were like not going away okay I'm gonna use the rare beauty powder it's new and I'm gonna try to salvage this but I don't think I'll be able to Ugh. <laughs> anyway, I was convinced that I had it because I felt way worse than him. But all of those tests came back negative. Tried to get a PCR test. They're like, did you test positive on a rapid antigen, antigen test? I'm like, no. And they're like, okay, here's more. I'm like, okay, thanks. Okay, I hate this concealer. I look 100. Okay. So I'm going to use a different powder. I'm not feeling this powder, and I'm not feeling this concealer. This is the powder. I got the shade light. I'm not that into it. Um, I'm going to use a powder over this foundation because I just always do. So, and I need to hurry up. My videos are way too long. So I'm using the Hourglass powder in so, um, sorry. This is Ambient Lighting Palette Volume Two. This was kind of a disaster when it launched because they marketed it as being a palette that was for people with darker skin tones and like, come on, can we just talk about this? <laughs> I am the fairest, so I'm not promoting this but I just do like the way the powder looks on my face. So that's what the foundation and powder are looking like. You can definitely see my pores still. But no matter what I use, you can always see them. So that's the fun part of having combination skin. So I'm going to just go ahead and do my bronzer and I'll be right back with the rest. 
Okay, so I filled in my brows a little bit. I put on a little bit of bronzer. So I just used the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpting Stick in the shade Light Medium. And then I wanted a little bit more of a matte bronzer. Usually I like one that has a little bit of a glow if I'm using a matte foundation. Using, using a matte foundation. But because this one has a little bit of glow to it already, I just wanted to kind of calm it down with a matte bronzer. So I used the Marc Jacobs bronzer. Sorry, I guess it doesn't matter what shade I use because you can't get it anymore. And fantastic. So I'm going to try, this is the first time I've tried this, the Master Hold Brow Gel by Makeup by Mario. I've been using the Patrick Ta. It's right in front of my face. Um, what is it called? Major Brow Lamination? Yeah. But, and I like it, but the only problem is that it gets so caked up and it leaves a residue and there's like, it's almost like there's like a hunk of like glue stuck in my eyebrows and I'm like, well, that looks like crap because one will be so good and then the other will not be good. I also don't know how I feel about this. God, I'm not like winning with any products lately. Like, what the fuck is that? <gasps> I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed because these things are not cheap, you know? Okay, it's a little bit better now. Now that I got up close and personal. But still weird. Like, what the actual hell is this? <sighs> Maybe I put too much. <sighs> Why does this happen to me every time I'm recording a video? When I'm not, I'll have like a perfect, perfect makeup day. Okay, so that one's not bad. But I think what you're supposed to do is press it down with like the short. There's like long bristles and then there's a side that has short bristles. I think you're supposed to press it down with the short bristles after. I tried this last night and I thought I liked it, but now I'm like, what? I think there's just too much in this one now. Like I'm getting a Patrick Cha feel right here. This one, fine. I'm annoyed. I'm officially annoyed. So I'm just gonna go over this and I got concealer over it. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna go over these psychotic brows with a little bit of my Lift and Snatch by NYX in the shade Blonde. I'll be right back because that is gonna take a while to fix this whatever's going on here. The frustration is real. So they're not great. This one's a little uh, heavy, but this is as good as I could get. Does anybody else have this issue with this pen? Like, I love it, but sometimes... Okay, now it's not doing it just because I'm showing you. It, like, disperses so much product. All Oh, there you see it. It's going to drip. Like... Like, what? Like, who... Like, Why? Why? And then you're in the middle of doing your brows and you're like, oh, uh, this is literally going to like drip onto my face right now. Or, or there's not enough that's coming out. Like I store mine down. So like I know a lot's going to come out, but ugh, it's just, I cannot win with these freaking things. I just want to like try to calm this one down a little bit because it's aggressive. Anywho, I'm going to do my eyes. So I am tempted to use this one because I've come out with some very nice looks with this or Lawless, the little one. I got both these for Christmas from my parents. Thanks guys. But I don't know which one to wear. I think I'm going to do Lawless because I feel I'm feeling neutral today. Well, that's neutral too, obviously, but feeling more like warm.
a warm look. So I am going to just quickly go in with the Rare Beauty Pinch, what is it called? The blush. The liquid blush. This is a new shade and it's in the shade Encourage. Pinch of something is what it's called. So Encourage is the new shade. This came out for spring and when they say you don't need a lot, listen to them because you do not need a lot. This is a dewy blush so I'm also a little afraid because you know the dew. I'm afraid of the dew. I'm putting it on my hand first and then I will put it on my face. This is what the color looks like. Again, looks darker in person, but we know that my lights like to wash me out like crazy. Or my lights, my camera, I mean. Ooh, so cute. I really like this shade. So I tried it last night again. I literally just like washed my whole face of makeup off yesterday and tried a bunch of these products. And I put like a full on drop, like just one. And I did it on my hand and holy. Like this one I like wiped off on the side. So it's a little bit better today. But yeah, yesterday I was like, whoa, this is a lot. Cause I dipped my brush right into it. So one side was like, heavy duty. How do we feel about this? I think it looks cute. Cute. That's what it looks like blended out. Just gonna add a tiny bit more up here. My fiance has gone so now it's quiet in here. Those guys go crazy when they're playing video games. Okay, so I want just like the tiniest bit on this side. And all I did is drop it like that. And that's really all you need. Great, great. And I'm just gonna just kind of go over the edges with a powder brush. All right. I always feel like my camera is just it's always like under me, so I'm like, oh hey, here's my double chin. And it's not a good look, I'm not gonna lie, it's not a good look. My, the last video I did, the one and done video, I was like, does my chin really look like that? Because I'm depressed now. And then Christmas came along and you're like, I'm gonna eat everything in sight, and I did. <laughs> but anyways, I uh, gotta get back in shape after all of that. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the shade, what are these like backwards, okay, um, plunge, no I lied, like why, shouldn't it be like this, 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 like shouldn't it be in that row, it's actually, anyway, who cares, I'm going to use clutch, which is a peachy matte brown, which is that one, I would say it's kind of more like orangey tone than brown but you know I'm just gonna go in the crease I did this look last weekend and I just thought it was so pretty with these eyeshadows I'm probably going to just let you know what I'm doing and then like maybe I'll just do one eye and then finish off camera because I feel like I'm just taking so long with everything just like that and then I'm gonna go into matte golden brown this one looks much lighter on camera 
than it does in person. This kind of, it's funny, this looks like a meh palette, like, you know, everybody probably has these shades a billion times over again, but I was very pleasantly surprised with the pigment and the shades. I mean, these two are very, very similar, but I don't know, they're really cute. Super pigmented really nice and tiny so you could take it on vacation with you if anybody's going on vacations um okay I'm just gonna stop there for a second I'm going to grab an eyeliner I'm gonna grab whiskey urban decay and not doing anything too um, integral here it's actually just kind of going on super messy. This is all I have left. Hey. So I'm literally just doing that. And then I'm just going to take a pencil brush. I'm going to use the darkest brown shade, which is Smolder. And I'm getting the hang of it. And I've been really liking kind of flicking my eyeshadow out. But I find I need a angled brush to do that. And then just kind of pulling it down. And then just blending that liner out. So if you're not good at doing like a winged liner with actual eyeliner, just do it with shadow and go over it with the eyeliner after. Or don't. So I am going kind of right to the corner of my eye with that. I'm just going to grab my angle brush one more time. hard because my mirror is behind the camera so I'm kind of like trying to see what I'm doing from far away. I am just going to add a pinch of the lightest color in my inner corner which is first base. <laughs> Got a hair on my Get out. It's like stuck in my brush. What the heck is this? So I'm just going in with that shade. So that's what it's looking like right now. And then the last thing I want to do is take a little bit of the black plunge and then just kind of like stay under that line but just kind of deepen that line up a tiny bit and then what I'm going to do is take my pencil brush one more time and just mix that in the outer corner. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of shadow on the lower lash line, and I think I'm just gonna mix maybe these two. So that's Pony and Lush, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna do the other eye, and I'll be right back. All right, so I finished my eyes. I just went in with, uh, in the waterline with a little Victoria Beckham cocoa liner. This took seven years to get here, but again, coming from the UK, it's really, really nice for the waterline. Like, it just glides on like butter. But on the lid, it's like you have to be careful because, like, you even just press it the tiniest bit and it's like, whoa. So, be forewarned. So, 
Um, the only thing I didn't do was the lips, and I'll do that right now. And I'm an idiot. I said that this was discontinued. It's actually not. This is the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain in the shade 32. She's still around. She's alive and well. So I'm going to use Cover Star by Charlotte Tilbury. Look, she's so little. And then, again, looks freaking orange on camera. But it's not. So. And then I'm just going to use lip liner, Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Iconic Nude. Where am I going to? You can't see what I'm doing. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear my stomach like grumbling and rumbling. I don't know what's going on. I felt like this the last couple days, like so bloated and just my stomach's been like gurgling and I'm like, what the hell? might be TMI but I have IBS and uh, I tried this app called Nerva and it actually helped so much it's basically just like a hypnotherapy thing and I did not have like an IBS attack for probably four and a half weeks which is really good for me. I'm just lightening it up a bit with that 32 cream lip stain. Yeah, so that's like really good for me. Usually it was like every couple weeks I was having IBS attacks. like, And I tried the uh, like elimination diet to see like if certain foods were causing it so I know like caffeine is really bad for me personally so I cut out caffeine which sucks because I love chai tea I don't drink coffee and so took that out of my diet took out uh, lactose so we've just been having everything either lactose free or yeah, basically, like, lactose-free cheese. We have, like, Nutrell um, milk. And I'm trying to cut down on, like, wheat, but I don't know if that's what it is. I do feel like maybe that's what it is because I feel, like, bloated and, like, my stomach is gurgly. And, yeah. But, so those helped, but it didn't eliminate the symptoms fully. So then I tried hypnotherapy, and that's helped so much. But now I'm kind of feeling like I'm done it now and it says you should be good for like life. And I'm like, really, should I? Or like, should I just keep going with it? So once you buy it, I think it was like $70 or something got a discount. Um, once you buy it, then you have access to like the hypnotherapy sessions and they're very repetitive. I think there's like five or six that you go through and it's like a six is it a six week yeah it's a six week program and then it says to get in contact with like doctors and stuff that you could talk to about your nutrition which I haven't done well I have I went to see a doctor sorry I'm gonna do a setting spray because why not airbrush airbrush flawless setting spray Charlotte Tilbury I don't know how people just like go ham on that stuff like it makes my face wet anyway so I did try um oh I did talk to my doctor and she gave me antidepressants to help because like I think a lot of it has to do with stress and anxiety so it helped but it didn't take it away so like I don't know what to do 
Anyways, this is what the face is looking like. And I will come back for a check-in later on tonight. This is what the makeup looks like in my bathroom light. So I'll show you what it looks like in a few hours or before I go to bed. And color's not too bad, it's just a little bit yellow. But yeah, if you have any recommendations for IBS, please, please let me know because I need all the help I can get. Sing. What's up? Um, so I just wanted to do a quick check-in. This is a few hours of wearing. I always have, like, I don't know what this is. Is it, is it a wrinkle? Probably. Um, so, oops. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like in kind of natural light. Not bad, not bad. So this is a glowy blush. So it is going to kind of accentuate my pores. But yeah, this is what the makeup's looking like. And it's not bad. I'm not like super shiny in my forehead or anything. Like the way this looked on some people, I was like, oh my god, it looks like it's going to be greasy. But I don't mind it. So that's what's up. Don't mind my nose contour. Like it's crooked. <laughs> But anyways, yeah. Oh, and I'm actually really liking this brow gel. I just, I think I just put too much on this side, but yeah, it's staying put and I like it. And I forgot to say what mascara I was wearing. Um, I put on the Melt Cosmetics. Um, it's in the red tube. I can't remember what it's called right now, but yeah. Uh, maybe I'll check in right before bed or something. It's about 4.30. It's maybe around like midnight. I'll probably still be wearing makeup at that time. So, excuse me. Hiccup. Yeah. That's what she's looking like. Hey guys. I kind of have to be quiet because the man is sleeping. Um, but this is... It is 11.30 p.m. So I've had this on for about, I want to say like over 10 hours now. I actually uh, also had a workout at my parents' place, so I'm a little tired. Just been kind of laying around, but this is what it's looking like. A little shiny in this region, but that's pretty standard for me. I'm actually shocked that my nose is not like glistening because I did not touch anything up. I went on, I ran on the treadmill, and I'm surprised that I still have as much makeup on as I do. Um, I just want to um, say that I wouldn't say it's pore minimizing. I mean, maybe when you first put it on, but I also used powder, but I mean, I just generally have bigger pores, so that's just always going to be there. But... I do think it lasted really nicely, settled a tiny bit in the smile lines, but nothing serious, and still has a really nice glow and I haven't had to touch up yet, and that's really good for me, especially on the nose. Um, yeah, so I would say definitely give it a try. Uh, the concealer is not good. Look at this eye, like what? It's going back. <laughs> the brow gel, really good. Um, what else did I get? Oh, blush, I really enjoyed. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe and we'll talk to you soon. Love ya!